A Fox News alert. The Navy intercepts two missiles launched by Houthi rebels that were targeting a U.S. container ship in the Gulf of Aden. Trey Yinks live in Tel Aviv with more. Trey. Todd Carly, good morning. More developments out of the Middle East, where yesterday Iran-backed Houthi rebels fired three anti-ship ballistic missiles at a U.S. flag container ship. Now, according to U.S. Central Command, the incident took place in the Gulf of Aden, just south of Yemen. Two out of the three missiles were intercepted by a nearby American Navy destroyer, the USS Gravely. One missile did splash into the sea nearby. The attack came as the United States launched its ninth round of strikes against the Houthis in just two weeks. Now, yesterday, the Houthis claimed they hit an American military ship, but they provided no evidence to support that claim. Further north in Iraq, American officials and their local council counterparts are expected to begin talks about the future of the U.S. presence in Iraq. Currently, there are around 2,500 American troops stationed there as part of the U.S.-led coalition against ISIS. Now, those forces have become a main target for Iranian proxies that have launched more than 150 attacks against them since mid-October. With the war between Israel and Hamas at day 111, there are no signs that conflict will be dying down anytime soon, and thus the attacks against American forces across the region are expected to continue. Now, with each of these attacks against U.S forces, there is a risk of dragging the entire region into a broader war. Remember, those forces inside Iraq and also inside Yemen are trying to kill American troops. So far, they've been unsuccessful. Todd, Carly? Trey Yanks live for us in Tel Aviv. Trey, thank you. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.